It's the number one destination for tiny housers. Over 50,000 builders, buyers, owners, and dreamers from all across the country are making their way to the epicenter of everything tiny. The first place I'm checking off our list is the 260 square foot house named Destiny by Jackie Macy of Petite Chateaus. Hi. Hey, Jackie. Hey, come on in. How are Welcome you? Welcome to the Destiny. This is cool. This is awesome. Thank you. Wow. Two out of every five tiny houses are age 50 or above, and Jackie designed this house with that market in mind. Let me tell you about my kitchen. Yeah. As a professional woman, I didn't want to be camping. <laughs> I wanted to have the same thing I had in my large home, but in a smaller home. So I put in a full-size sink, and I got these wonderful little drains. So if you wash vegetables, they can just drain down to the sink. And then I don't like lots of stuff out, so I have an appliance garage with an That's outlet cool. in it, so toasters and things like that can go in there. And we have lots of hiding storage spaces oh, really? in there. Okay, so, what's, like hi hiding so what's hiding? <laughs> Whoa! That is so neat! Oh, and wow. this actually lives out. There's another little hiding space below that. Really? Men always go perfect for ammo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm thinking yeah. wrapping paper and ribbons and things like that That's such that a good I idea. don't want taking up room. I wanted to make this multifunctional. So these go together like a couch. They can be set up as chairs with ottomans. They sleep four people all the way down the hallway and a couple of them here. Four people? Four really? people wow. can sleep, plus we have two upstairs. So this place sleeps six people. Wow. Six people. That's yeah, a big lot. sleepover. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's your budget on this? I'm selling it at the Jamboree, and I'm selling it for 87.5. Wow. 87.5. So he put a cool. phoenix on one side, and there's a sun and a moon and stars on the other side. That's very cool. By the way, everything that you see comes with the unit, the bed, the linens, the paintings, the knives. So you everything take the whole thing. Everything comes with it, the whole thing. So uh, you, it's you buy this and you're ready to live in it. And bring your toothbrush. I have a built-in GPS in here. So if somebody takes off with my house, I just dial 911 and say, my house is on the corner of 4th and B Main Street. Could you go get it? That is a great idea. Yeah. We're on the first floor and I'm already impressed. <laughs> Let me show you yeah. our bathroom. I want... Wow, this is spacious. Oh, this is a Look cool Look at yeah. this. Like a full-size shower and a composting toilet and a vessel sink. Again, it's designed for women like me, mm -hmm. yeah. professionals that are used to certain amenities. Right. And this is our medicine chest. Chest? Oh, <gasps> my gosh. It's huge. I could fit in here. <laughs> that, that is, is awesome. And I really want to see the upstairs. I keep looking and seeing cool stuff up there. Yeah. There are some wonderful surprises wait till you see. Wow, this is really comfortable to walk up. Not many tiny houses have a handrail, so it's good to have. Oh, look at all this space. Oh my gosh. I love this bedroom. And I'm 6'1, I'm standing up. I still have room above me. That is nice. It's just Gosh. really comfy. I mean, you have your bed here, and then you have this right. space. Well, actually, Trevor, if you'll sit on that little platform there, that's a seat, and swing your legs around. Oh, my God, what? That's a desk I or a craft right center. I and I didn't even know. Yeah. That is so cool. I would have never thought this was a desk. Let's see the closet. Had to have barn doors, and I had to have a large closet because wow, I'm a girl. Wow, how big is this? Gosh, that is oh not gosh. a tiny closet. Wow, oh you gosh. can fit everything in here, including me. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm even more blown away with this house. The more mature tiny housers don't want to stoop over in their loft. They don't want to have to crawl across their bed, and they don't want to have to feel like they're camping. Jackie designed this house for that audience, and she straight up nailed it. Very well thought out. Thank you. Yeah. You this really is utilized all the space in here, so. Yeah. Well done. True tiny house. It's a true tiny home. Yeah, mm -hmm. home for sure. Gosh, this Thank is you. so cool. And on this side, this is a macrame piece made out of hemp. Very organic, but very strong on the stairway. And we have the generator in the house. You don't use it in the house. You use it outside, but I didn't want it to walk away. I'm in a very public area right now. And heating. 
lots and lots of storage. There's wiring upstairs and down for cable and internet. And this comes with a GPS system, plugins uh, upstairs and downstairs for phones, and the most amazing uh, two way audio, night vision, video recording, streaming video system, as well as a CO2 and smoke detector. All of it call, calls your cell phone and tells you that there's somebody in your house, it's moving, it's on the corner of 4th and Main, go get it. Um, hey, mister, that's my house, put down my toaster and leave. <laughs> it covers everything. Uh, it also has a solar system. It's not a single panel, it's a 10 panel system. So this 10 panel system will handle computers and phones and all of those things for you. We're in beautiful Lakeview and there's a fair going on right now and rodeo, so please excuse the noise. But here's the exterior of our little tiny house, the Destiny. And this patio furniture is an antique set that goes with it. It folds flat. And this is a washer and dryer that plug in use very little water or energy. Here's the exterior. It's 13 feet 6 inches from the ground to the top of the roof. The electrical panel. Inverter down there. See the switch to the hot water heater. And here we have the propane stored. Water heater vent. Water storage for those that are off grid. The water pump. The washer and dryer fit right here, so you don't have to have them in your bill. And in this cubby, we have a tote that will coat your gray water if you don't want to use it to water your garden. Or if you're at a trailer park or something like that, you can hook right up. Just like all the other uh, mobile homes that are in the area, just plug it right in and you're all set. Or if you're at your kid's house, plug into their electric and their water and you're all, all set. This spigot is if you're moving it and you have a lot of water in the water storage, you can let the water out easily.